Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. Welcome back to the old Transport Fever 2 mainline, where we're... Oh, hang on. Oh, there's some subtle music going on in the background. The camera's moving really fast and I'm bulldozing a lot of stuff that I've already built. Oh, it's a flipping time lapse. Okay, all right, well, that's a different mode entirely. Right, what are we doing here? Well, I'm laying out this track again to get to the tunnel because uh, obviously I want to get to the tunnel and I want to do it in a compelling and straight kind of fashion. Right, no wiggly unnecessary. No, no, get rid of that. Uh, didn't really work. No, I wasn't. I wasn't sold on it. Oh, we're actually the other side of the station now. Okay, fair play. Well, that bit of track's not even attached to a station. Where's it going? No, 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 no. I didn't like that. Do it again. There you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better. Is it? You sure? Doesn't it have an unnatural curve going on there? Speaking of unnatural curves, that didn't work. Do it. No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that. That there. Super, look at that, elegant, swanky, perfect, leave it alone, leave it alone. Right, moving on the other side, smoothy, smooth, smooth, and uh, where are we going? Well, we know where the main line's going, it's going up there somewhere. Oh, I've moved forwards. What's happening now? Uh, I, I'm, what, what, well, make your mind up, man, where are we going? Oh, I see, main line, right, okay. Now, you, you can probably see there's some uh, track with speed limit type behaviour going on down there, and... Indeed, that is the case, because uh, I want my trains to slow down to an elegant and stately fashion before they arrive at the station. Now, obviously, at the moment, I'm using steam trains, and they move at an elegant and stately fashion if you're flipping lucky. Uh, but, uh, no, 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 that's, it's all good. Uh, we're double-tracking down here, because oh, I've done the wrong side of the track. No, it'll be all right. Um, and uh, the reason I'm doing that is... Nope, escapes me, but I'm sure it will be worthwhile when we get there. Oh, that's right, yeah, I'm replacing all of these road services with stuff on trains. Oh, look, I'm playing with a bridge. This is going to go well. Um, yeah, okay, so we've got the embankment going up, and I'd say, no, I'll swing this over here, and then I'd go, no, those pillars are horrible. Uh, what else have we got? I haven't got enough bridge. No, that's clearly not going to work. Neither's that. No, blow it up. Uh, this time? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. No, all these, all these mods, rubbish. Uh, instead, because I mean, you, that, there's just a bunch of bridges designed to only go over gaps. Uh, if you want to run anything underneath them, completely useless. Uh, but hey, no, yes, hey, you know, I didn't make them, and therefore I can't criticise. Except I am criticising, and therefore I should just shut up. Uh, right, anyway, here we go. Yeah, now, the, the age-old trick of can you get a bridge over a bunch of track at an, hello, autosave, uh, at an angle that is compelling and, uh, and workable? No, is, is the evidence that we're seeing here. Are oh, we going back to try and bend it over? Oh, it's worked, it's worked. Take it, take it, take it. Bend it, take it, make it, it, yep, yep, right there. Beautiful, poetry in motion. That's it, that's perfect. Leave it alone now, we don't need to mess with that anymore. It's doing, hold on, where are we going? What are you doing? Why? Oh, I see. We've decided we don't want to go over that bit after all. We want to go somewhere else instead. Possibly because I'd worked out that I'd just cut myself off from doing the underground section that I'd set up a moment ago. Hey, that's why the bulldozer exists, so that you can look at what you've made and go, yeah, that was terrible. I'll, I'll build something else instead uh, that will be just as terrible. Now, you see, I mean, you will see me routinely taking bits of track back uh, before then reconnecting them. And that is to ensure a, uh, a genteel and flowing curve is placed in there. They must be genteel and flowing. I'm hard pressed to know exactly what that was for, but it's all good. Plus, I, I do have a, the slightest inkling what's coming. Oh, I, are we going over here now? Not satisfied with only running over four tracks, we're now going to try and get over the top of seven. Perfect. No, I love it. Oh no, it's, oh, it's worked. Oh, okay. Yo, oh, look at that. Yeah, no, don't fight the fever. Take that one. Oh, I see, we're going to try and double track it because we're feeling bold and adventurous. Well, that worked too. Oh, crikey, I am bold and adventurous. Uh, right, next round of corner. Yep, yep, super. Good. That's a bit I'll just worry about later. Uh, meanwhile, what do we think of how this looks? Uh, horrible? Yeah, it doesn't look great, does it? No, it's... it's mm, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, get rid of that, That's that wasn't helping. Oh, sure, yeah, drag it over, no, that one, no. Uh, hard to say for sure, yeah, 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 snake some more track over the top of it, because, I mean, that's bound to make it look better. Does that look good? I'm going to go with, uh, no, not really, what's that? Oh, that's something I'm going to play with later. No idea where I'll use it, but I'll use it somewhere, it's going to be great. 
uh, the mod list is not in the description, but you can find it on Steam. It's in the description of part one of this second half of the season, which is otherwise known as part 50. Part 51, beg your pardon. Uh, depot, yeah. And what do you need what, coming out of a depot? Lots of track. Lots and lots of track. It's, uh, it's the depot format. As much track as you could possibly muster coming out of a depot. Oh, look at this. Bit of a cascade junction kind of thing going on there. That's actually looking pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, no, there's, there are a few things finer than having a bunch of parallel tracks just gently meandering through your countryside. No, absolutely ruddy, love that. What are you doing with this? I'm, I'm, I'm smoothing it out so that the junction's nice. The junction is nice. I know, that's because I smoothed it out. There you go, it's, it, that's worked out perfectly. Oh, the, the, the music appears to have kicked up a notch. We're, we're clearly nearly there. Yeah, yeah, he never kicks the music up a notch early on. Saves that for near the end. Oh, well, look at that. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. This bit, not so much. No, 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 don't, don't, not kick, no, no, nor that, all that, all this, no. None of that, it's all bobbins. Uh, the, uh, the beauty and magnificence of a whole bunch of parallel tracks coming out of the depot means I should do a bunch of parallel tracks going into the station as well. And kind of go, why won't you, why won't you do this curve neatly? Why are you, why are you fighting it? There you go. That's it. Hello, what I say? Um, and then do a bit more, well, I say a bit, do a lot more, and then find the bits that marry up the most neatly to the ongoing track that we want. We've got a third bit there, yeah, squeak it in under the bridge, the bridge loves it. And, uh, yeah, almost there, yeah, that one's neat, that one's neat, yeah, that's neat, that's neat too. Yeah, you're probably going to want some junctions, oh, here we go, junction time. Uh, yeah, yeah, that looks like it was meant to be. It's probably because it was, eventually, no, hold on, change my mind, going over here. Why? It was looking fine. It's not about what it looks like, Tiger. It's about what it actually does. Because uh, all of this flamboyant behaviour we've got going on here is purely to set up getting out of the flaming depot in the first place. This is track that we will, in fact, use once. Uh, and then go, ah, oh, yes, but it was, it was worth the millions upon millions I spent on laying it. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, right, we're mucking about the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The inevitable tunnel underneath all the track. Bulldozing half the town to make it work. Yeah, I see, I see where you're going. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Make it neat. There you are. Yeah. Yeah, don't let the don't let the computer decide how to do it. You know what? This is road building. It's boring. So in the words of the immortal, show them what they've done, Terry. And I say, who's Terry? I thought we'd start off with just a quick swoop showing how this has evolved. So what you're looking at now is uh, is the way that Picks Creek was at the end of lap one. Uh, before I went to tap, while stuff was still moving and alive and what have you, and gently fading in now, you will see the beginnings of lap two, where we started off and, uh, and laid in routes that are, are eventually going to be in use. Uh, so as we pan back the other way again, in this genteel and sedate fashion that we are doing, uh, you'll see the, the startings of where the new station is, and you'll you'll get a sense of, okay, okay, yeah, that's where we went. See, Flying Junction, that bloody awful Flying Junction, that one. The one at the other end, it's not so bad, it's okay. That curve still upsets me in a myriad, in myriad ways, um, but uh, I, I might fix that at some point. The curve coming off the top of the Flying Junction, yeah? So then we pan back once more, and now you see how I have evolved the uh, uh, the layout as we come into this episode. We've got a brand new bit of uh, heavy-duty country road going on there, uh, nice connections throughout the town, and then it all swoops round in a big clustery fashion towards the depot and beyond. It is rather splendid, though I say so myself, I'm quite pleased with it. So over on the right you see uh, how it started out, and then how it evolved, and now where it's ended up. I think it, I think it comes off quite nicely. Yeah, I think it I think it genuinely does. Anyway, today we're going to be uh, focusing our attention on actually getting some stuff working again, because because uh, that's what you that's what you want. This is what I've ended up with, and I'm relatively pleased with it. Uh, I, now, obviously, I don't know if it's all going to work yet. There's a high chance that I'm going to need some more junctions and what have you. And uh, the other thing to bear in mind. There is no signalling at all in between this bank here that is holding the main line back at the moment and then all the way up to here. That's by design because I want to see where the signals are going to be required. I don't want to be placing signals unless I need them. 
Um, but uh, but there you go. That's the challenge so far. Uh, other bits you hadn't quite captured in the uh, uh, in the quick bit at the start uh, is I've I've built roads out to connect everything everywhere, just purely to to kind of fill in the environment. I mean they're not the neatest things ever, but it's another opportunity to shine. Um, also missing is I could have done a ton of detailing here. I, once I started colouring in the landscape and and actually spending some time at see look I mean I I went uh, oh chuck a couple of cheeky little sheds there and I went no 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 don't get carried away with that because every time you use any kind of modded asset at all it has the potential to slow down your frame rate and the important thing is that the infrastructure is has a little bit more design to it. And then uh, once I'm further along, I'll pick the lines or the stations, I should say, where I'm going to put in a little bit more effort. And this is one of those a bit more effort stations, but I don't want to go too mad just yet. With the depot here, I've purposefully built extra lines that I could leave wagons and so on just uh, just parked up because it all helps sell the environment, you know, makes it all look good. Anyway, let's get some stuff moving. That's the, that's the next mission. Uh, there is a fair bit that's broken. I say a fair bit. I mean, look at how many lines I have ruined. I had no idea there were this many lines. No, just, just ruined. <laughs> train 30. I've no idea what train 30 might be. Tell you what, let's just sell it straight off. Uh, and I think that's going to be the... Whoa, 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 whoa. No, that's the main line. Oh, let's, let's not do that then. Uh, let's, in fact, let's get the main line running first. And, uh, and see where we end up. Now, the, the, the good news is the main line should move relatively easily. Uh, it should, should move relatively easily. Uh, because th that was the kind of foundation point that I set up from. Uh, so, right, manage line, manage line, manage line. Right, so uh, out that way is Atlantis. So if we're lucky, there's Atlantis. All right, which goes to Peninsula, back to Atlantis, then Silent Hill. So we want to sit just after Silent Hill. So we'll add here. Right, the Picks Creek Mainline Freight Yard. I'm giving them these convoluted names so that I know which ones I've done. Uh, not that I'm likely to forget, you understand, but I'm likely to forget. Uh, and then stick it in there on the other way. Right, do we dare chance a bit of unpause action? Well, I have done, so clearly yes is the answer to that. Now, I've got a whole bunch of vehicles that I've I've told to uh, hold position. You get going again. Well, there it is. It's going. It's, it's heading the right... I'll tell you what, we'll even, we'll even ride it on in there. Uh, soak up a little bit of the view. Let's up the tempo. Um, now, I've got the, the two lines on the left that you can see there. That's going to be my passenger line. It isn't fully connected to anything yet, so it doesn't do anything. But also, on the approach, you may have made out that I've used different speeds of track uh, in order to sell the atmosphere again, you know? Just to sell it. All right, yeah. No, I've, had the, I've had the game running for about an hour, and it's been paused the entire time. So these stutters that I'm getting are going to be as a result of the game loading stuff back in again. Um, that's okay. That's all right. It's not a performance thing. Uh, once, it, once it gets back on its feet then the, the frame rate should uh, should sort itself out and uh, and everything will be glorious. Uh, so, right, here we go. There's not going to be anything waiting here. No. Also, it's planes. Any time there's a plane in the air, it absolutely ruins the frame rate, which is nice. Yeah, you should be stopping about now. There we go. There we go. Stopping is occurring. And uh, and that's... Do you, are you considering that a stop, are you? Okay, fine. Now, this convoluted set of track that I've got going on here, I've, I've done some best guesswork on that because the aim is to be able to get everything into and out of the depot, which I'm fairly certain I'll be able to do, but only fairly certain. Um, and then, yeah, see, look, two planes. That's what's killing my frame rate. Oh, what? Yeah. No, it, it definitely is. Um, but at the same time, I don't know if it will or not. So, uh, so we're going to be trying the depot out in a few short moments, uh, and then we'll we'll see just how bad that entire situation is. Uh, good, right? Well, we've cleared the main area, and we're in the right place now for me to uh, enable our friend here. There you go. You get back to work. 
Okay. Are we going to run... Are we going to leave stuff running now while you're trying to set up new things? Yeah, I think we probably are. Okay, right. Next up. Uh, I want to do... I don't know what to do. Take one of these broken lines. See, that's that's a better idea. Uh, we've got the Gallifrey Picks Creek Rail into City. Now, I do want to I want to mess around with that much more because it's going to go to further places. So I might actually find the vehicle doesn't have any. All right, in that case, I'm going to kill the route entirely. Just wait for it. Wait for it. I'm going to find a, I'm going to find a button. Here we go. It's here. It's there. All right, and uh, murder eight, please. There you go. Right, one done. Well, hardly. Right, this is the Picks Creek uh, my Gallifrey Rail Lumber Production. Oh, this is a mess, this one. Uh, has it actually, it's got no vehicles on it. Good. Well, anytime something's got no vehicles on it, I can just kill the route. Next up, the Picks Creek main route load road vehicles, train, coal, trucks business. Good, yeah. All of you lot, get sold. Yep, they are, right. And uh, then kill the route as well. Uh, ML Road Cult. Why can't I do it from here? Right? Should be. It should be one menu. Oh. Uh, oh, I say. Hey, it's, it's all fine. Uh, what you've got going on here? Stations report the following problems. Uh, rename Grazer Ridge. Ah, that's my passenger service that went somewhere. Is it? No. You know what? Kill it. Really? Oh, yeah. There you go. Because they're, they're going to try and come up here to disgorge passengers, and no such disgorgence is permitted. Uh, so get over here. The renamed Grazer Ridge is no more, because uh, it's going to be an entirely fresh service. We've got mainline stuff running, look. Yeah, it's not dropping anything off or picking anything up, because I haven't got to that yet. Uh, right, Picks Creek, mainline road grain. I actually think this one might be viable there we go yeah so you've got pigs creek south uh and then all we need to do is go and drop off at the truck stop that i've put in over here i wasn't 100 percent certain i had but i have so let's get that rolling again uh now i don't know what vehicles that actually got on it some they were they were doing little laps of the truck stop here all right now are you are you stopped you've got no path the, your Picks Creek mainline road lumber A. No, no, no. You've been replaced by a train, I'm afraid, friend. Um, so it's bad news for you. Uh, yeah, kill that. No, there's vehicles on the route. But I, I need to be able to hop from one to the other easily. You see, it's because it's just not it's not going to work if I can't. Never mind. Besides which, all those, all those vehicles are like eons out of date. All uh, right, next. Picks Creek Road Commuter. Yeah, that's definitely not going to work because I killed the bus stop. Uh, we, how many vehicles have we got on there? Three, and they need bringing up to speed. Right, let's fix you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you don't you tick, tick. Oh, you've, it's all broken. And I kind of got, yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. Uh, right, so let's put in a few bus stops uh, to uh, to get us rolling. Now, we've got our, we've got our main stop. No, we haven't. Oh, no, I decided I didn't need one. Yeah, well, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, what I want is... Yes. Okay, right. We're going to have a bus stop, or a bus station, even, uh, all the way up here. Is that wise? Uh, no. No, it's not wise. Okay, well, should, why, what, are you, what are you thinking? I just want to run a quick shuttle service, really. Just do a figure eight and be happy with it. Look, the figure eight is not the most efficient way of... Well, it definitely won't make you any profit, right? Figure eights are a bad way to make money. Uh, Break-even is certainly possible. Um, but it is not... It, it's definitely not the way to run a, a commuter service of any kind at all. Because you're going to be touching on work, home, and connection. What it, Where it does benefit is, uh, is in being a cedar service for uh, for other things so i'm going to do that even though those aren't really needed at the moment manager line at a station we're going to go one yeah two yeah three please go the right way but oh, that's convoluted change your mind to go the go the right way now four yeah five no just no just 
why would you why would you do that why would you not stop on the other side of the road you absolute ruddy joker I'd, uh, i'm gonna i'll live with it uh and then obviously we go back to there and then back to here yeah and then over to this one and then everybody's happy hold on whoa, 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 whoa. you've got them stopping at somewhere that doesn't actually exist there you go do that yeah yeah no it's not good is it no it's not good it might work out it might not uh let's why don't you just get it running properly and then uh, and then we can all be happy and we can move on with our lives i think it is it is mostly running fine yeah it's the 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 issue is this one right you go around here to come around and then back out again that way yes as opposed to coming in this way and heading up the road there and swinging by over here uh hold on unless you've put this in a you know what it's running and that will probably do for now. And it's only a feeder service anyway. It's there to feed other routes. Right. Let's uh, let's modernize the vehicles that we're using. Uh, replace. Yep. All right. What's new? What's good? What's hot? What's shaking? Daimler Double Decker. Sweet as a nut. Get to work. Get back to work. And while I'm about it, I'm going to uh, I'm going to up your maintenance as well, so you don't bellyache later on when you start looking a little bit tatty. Right. They are. Have fun with that. <gasps> Look! Precious cargo. Super. Next broken one, please. Uh, the Rick Picks Creek Road Lumber Production. Using horses and carts. Uh, yeah. All right. What are you riding? The very one that I was looking at. Okay. Well, I'm, you're going to be retired. This is not an Amish community. Yeah. Good. I, I mean, don't be too disconsolate, however. I'm going to retire the entire line. I mean, you were probably Fox there a smidge because all of your stations have been removed. Sailor V, Sailor Gare. Uh, but uh, it's I'm going to have to track those down later. Anyway, here we've got uh, Picks Creek Mainline Distribution, which is being serviced by one truck, which is probably about the right amount. But I did remove the truck stop, so I should probably just be able to put that back in and we'll be, uh, we'll be off and rolling. Uh, now, to get good coverage, you actually need station side. Now, it was about here before. I wonder if uh, if over here somewhere... No, it's still good catchment. What about, uh, what about up here? Not quite as good catchment. Okay, right, well, there it is then. Right, good. No, no, you didn't, you didn't actually fix it, eh? You just kind of like went... <laughs> job done! Woohoo! Except job not done. Uh, manager line... Yeah, see, job is anything but done. This one. Yeah. And then uh, that one. Okay. All right. Good. Yep. Next. Uh, this is going to be the Silent Hill. Say what now? Uh, mainline Road Steel Oil. S uh, beg your pardon? Oh, that will be because of where the uh, the actual station is. The, the, the All the pickup stuff. It's this, it's this business round here. Right, you lot. Yeah. You're all retired. Congrats. Bye-bye. All right. Okay. Uh, next, Silent Hill Road Steel. Or that's the one we just did. Manage the line. Kill the line. Good. Next, Silent Hill Road Oil Interchange. Manage the vehicles. Sell the vehicles. I, I potentially don't need to actually press the Select All Vehicles button there. Um, but hey-ho. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a rare old adventure. And then kill it. Yeah? Yeah. Good. There are no longer any warnings. Partly because there are no longer any vehicles to speak of. But uh, there are no longer any warnings. And that's that's a fine place to start. Now, what have I got hauling my uh, my grain here? I had a feeling they weren't necessarily up to date. Yes, they're, they're a little bit old-fashioned-y. Uh, so let's let's get them a little bit new-fashioned-y. Uh, replace a set of selected vehicles with something freightish. Uh, what about the... Now, what are we hauling? Just grain. Okay. Then let's take the Model T with the stake sides. But the grain surely would fall out. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Bread falls out, but grain does not. Grain comes in bags. I'll oh, flip him, whatever. Uh, right, there you go. And uh, let's configure your main... No, wait, no, wrong button. Let's get your maintenance up a tick as well. Now, I don't know if putting it at high is enough to offset the, uh, the, oh, your train's all broken, you need to fix it. 
uh, that pops up on a regular basis. Um, but I suspect not. Right, let's put in another rail service, which makes me apprehensive, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, we'll do this one because it's easy. Okay, yeah. New line from here, right? And then you tell me where you want to go. Right, the Pixlet Creek Mainline Freight Yard. That is acceptable. Well, it's, it also, that is inevitable, given that that's the only one you've got set up. Well, yeah, all right, yeah. Uh, now, this is going to be pick, isn't it? I don't think you've got anything pick remaining. No, you've got pick road commuter. You've got pick lumber production, which shouldn't be there because I, I think you've killed that. Yes. I'm certain you've killed that. All right, well, let's uh, let's just check it. All right, in fact, if you just hit delete, it will tell you pretty quickly uh, whether or not you've got any vehicles left on there. Oh, good thinking. Uh, so, lumber A, kill that. Yeah. Uh, mainline coal, you can kill that. Yes. Mainline grain is the one that's still running. Yep. Okay, right. Yeah? Yeah. Right, go find where, wherever you put line one. There it is. Here we go. And you are going to be... Uh, pick, yeah. Uh, mainline, yes. Rail, yeah. Lumber, yeah. A. Well, that was easy enough. Good. Uh, yeah. Set it in motion? No, no, no. I'll get, I'm going to get Lumber B going at the same time. So, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Before you do so, we are going to need to set up some signals. Because this line over here, which is where I'm thinking for Lumber B, right? Uh, will uh, It hits three locale. So we got this, which is the Lumber. Uh, then further down, which is my steel mill. And then further still, which is the oil well. Okay, I mean this is this is stuff that I know. Rogue bit of road. Um, now, once you get past the the lumber production area, it becomes dedicated tracks. Does it? Yeah, yeah, it does. Genuinely, genuinely does. And I've already set up a a set of switchovers here. Yeah, I haven't. Okay, well let's do, let's do that now then. Uh, 120 will be sufficient because these are little freight jobbies. Uh, give me that. And go on, do it, do it, do it, do it. There we go. Right. So, at this point, they're dedicated tracks. This way, it is uh, It is not dedicated tracks. What's the opposite of a dedicated track? It's something. Yeah. Uh, you've, you've, you've added all my... Oh, no, I added a flipping signalling mod. On the one hand cool on the other hand oh no i just want something moderately simple for this particular time investment uh what have we got two-way standard signal freeway indication um the opposite aspect is permanently red uh is it <clears throat> show me okay yeah oh i quite like that yeah yeah oh no 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 that's nifty so this is the ideal for doing one-way signals right yeah oh yeah all right well we should use these on uh on uh, yeah you should use these when you're using one-way track that's the one right so you're going that way and then you're coming this way okay yeah you sure yes okay have you got a double double slip going on there yeah i think i do i do now Okay. Uh, this junction here is purely to get to the depot. That's uh, thinking ahead. Uh, I, I ought to put my mainline signals back in as well. Um, right. Anything else you need from here? Yeah, I'm going to need a crossover at some point. Yeah, probably around about here so I can designate stuff onto, onto different platforms. Otherwise, you can't run this one way because it won't be able to get back on the other track. Uh, give me tracks. Give me... 40 kilometers an hour, please. And anywhere around here will be fine. Okay. Yeah. Right about here. Yes. Yeah. Okay, then. Right. Good. And signals. And a one of these. Yeah, because you're one weighing on the way in. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. All right, and then we'll do a set of both on the bridge, which will act as our queuing function temporarily. Later on, we might switch these up. 
All right, just make sure that's done what you expected. Well, they're both showing red. And on this side, they're both showing red. Then I reckon we can assume it's probably working. Pfft, I'm not basing that off anything at all. Right, new route. Okay, new line. Yeah, going from here, right, up to there. Right, and there we go. Glorious orange coming in, using the flyover. And then uh, employing the switch in the way I had intended it to be employed. Spanking! Uh, right, so you are going to be pick, yeah, ML, yeah, rail, yeah, lumber, uh, lumber B. Not number B, lumber B. You haven't set any trains in motion on there yet. No, I know, we're going to cruise them out of the, uh, of the depot in a moment. Now, do you want to do the other two down there? Yeah, I think if we do all the north side trains first, this is not north. I am looking, if we assume that that's north, which it always has been historically. Yes, yes, yes. East. If we look east, I'd do all of the east routes first. Uh, so we've got these two to deal with. Fine. Get on with it then. Um, right. Okay. So next up, line manager, new line. Yeah. From here. Right out to this one all right what's that one doing well it's going back and forth on the green that's fine as long as it is fine no you you why have you crossed over why though why have you oh this was the point at which you decided it wasn't going to be two-way oh you charlie right okay that's no, okay it's easy an easy enough fix uh so anyway this is going to be pick yeah uh ml rail yeah well are you still uh, steel production. Right. Uh, get your signals on, man. Yeah, uh, signals, getting them on, man. Yeah, might as well keep this what this uh, one-way tracks only. Because you've got a cross over there. You didn't need to build one up here. You already had one. Okay. All right, well, stick one in here. And then that will, that will almost certainly be sufficient. Yeah, there's only going to be three trains in total on this line, so it should be fine. And then, after a little while, spacing will sort itself out anyway. Uh, so, last up, we got got uh, out there on Peninsula West, despite the fact that Peninsula is on an entirely different peninsula. And you're coming in there. Okay, I'm liking how busy all of this is starting to look already. Yeah, but I mean, the, the turnaround times on these are not going to be that swift. ML, rail, yeah. What is this? Oil. Uh, oil, supply. Okay, right, good. Let's get all of them in motion. Now then, I, don't, I haven't advanced the time. I'm going to, I think I, before we get to the next episode, I'll probably advance it to about 1940, uh, just to see what we've got. But I'm going to want, you've also got this flipping hideous M300. Yeah, I know, they are flipping hideous. Uh, any other diesels to speak of? Got the Alco. Now let's embrace let's embrace Steam for a little while longer. I haven't got many Steam mods installed, but you know, having a bit of having a bit of Steamy variety going on, I think is a good thing. Right. What about one of these? Oh yeah, look at this little saddle tank. I love the look of that. That looks great. Well, get it on there then. Yeah, you want one of them? Yeah, I do. I, uh, where, where's it? Where's it? Early British uh, engines. Good. Is this not too early? Could we not have something a little bit more modern? I don't think you can. No, it's not going very far. We'll, we'll have those rocking my uh, my lumber. I quite like this one. But, uh, well, you can use it in a minute. Shut up and just do something productive. Uh, those tiddlers are not going to do much at all. And, you know, you've gone to the extent of, of adding them into the game. Get them on. All right, okay. All right. One, well, it's 1.2 million, okay? So it's clearly not a total bobbins. Uh, it's it's clearly got some some get up and go to it. Uh, we're not going to use naffies unless we have to. And I'm, I'm tempted to try and run the main line without naffies at some point. But it, I'll use some kind of pseudo naffies that are uh, container wagons. Uh, right, so how many of these do you want? I think uh, capacity of... 56 will probably be sufficient. All right, what sort of speed are we looking at? Uh, flat 64 and uh, high grade 43. That'll do nicely. Uh, I want two of those, please. Buy them. Right, you 
are going on to the first pick lumber line. Uh, yep. All right. You are going on the second pick lumber line. Uh, wait for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I want to. I want to watch it leaving the depot. That's all right. Oh, it made a little toot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cute as you like. Very nice. Yep. No. Good. Even. Even. It's even good. Uh, now that should be that should be more than enough uh, for the job at hand. Uh, I'm just looking for you know where would I don't know. I'm going to follow it through the uh, the convoluted junctioning that I've got going on here. I'm I'm somewhat certain that I've got this set up so that it will happily. Uh, do everything that I want it to in terms of get from the depot to the line that's in use. But, you know, I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want to guess that I definitely got that right. Okay. Now, I mean, the thing with depots is you're not even going to use them very often. Um, but that's, it's not the point. It's just not the point. No. What is the point? The point is that it looks good. All right. Out we come. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, you're definitely going to go where you need to go. Uh, you're going to need one signal, and even then, it's only going to be just in case you need it. And I'll, and in fact, I'm going to pull it in here. Uh, yeah, right. So what do we want? I think, a, I think a dwarf signal will do the job just fine. Uh, which line are we on? This one. All right, does it need to be one way? Definitely not. So a little dwarf signal about there will do fine. And that's purely going to be used if I'm sharing this platform with another service. Okay. Yeah, cute. Now, look, purists out there are going to go, you're using signals from like 86 different countries here, and it's it's woeful. I go like, that's nothing. I use trains from flipping 86 different countries as well. And it doesn't phase me. Just embrace that I'm, I'm using what I think is going to be super and uh, and Sometimes it will be, sometimes it won't be. Now, what's this? Main signal go, distance signal go 40. Yes, that will make sense to train people. <clears throat> yeah, but you're, you're a fake train people. Yeah, I quite like it because of the number of, the number of uh, light bulbs it uses. Yes, what's this one? Main signal go, distance signal go. But does it actually connect? Because I don't think it does. I mean, I, I would like chain signals conceptually. I mean, as much as they trip me up on a, every time I use them, I mean, it's uh, I still like them. Let's go for just a standard signal. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think a standard signal is probably a good idea. Uh, Two-way, standard. No, I want one-way. Left side. No, two-way. And this is the one that's always marked as red, right? Yeah. So let's do that. I don't think I'm ever going to be running anything in the wrong direction on here. But you never can tell. Right, let's put one of those there as well. Yeah. Mainline signals, you see. That's fine. Now, as much as the station itself already infers signaling as part of the, the will it, is the train allowed to leave the station kind of behaviour, uh, it's not a point. Right, you just... Yeah, you see that, that road you've got underneath there? That's going to interfere with you being able to do this. Well, I don't want it to interfere with me being able to do this. Well, what you want and what you're going to get are two entirely different things. Uh, slap this on here. No, it's just past the junction. Slap this on here. Yes. You sure? Uh, yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, it's good. It's going to be fine. It's going to be good. It's going to be fine. All right, then leave it alone. All right, don't start going and flipping overboard and zesty on your signalling just now, because uh, that way leads to madness. Now, where is the little train that could number two? Here it comes. All right, you pack in. Got five lumber, Gov. Oh, you beauty. All right, well, let's now set up an oil train, which is going to need a little bit more oomph. Uh, oomph is what we asked for. Oomph is what we're going to get. Uh, something steamy. Oh, yes. And then, I mean, we're British here, which means that we should probably go American. Because that'll, that'll upset people. Don't do things to upset people. 
Uh, what about this uh, this this Catalonian number? Uh, yes. Yeah, I want something with a bit of speed and a bit of grunt. Okay. Or oh, you got another you got an Andalusian here. Uh yeah. mixed trains in mountain lines. Well, I'm not sure we'll see any lions, but uh, certainly. You know what? I'm having, I'm going to have two of them. Um but different, you know? Right. Okay, give me a cargo. Right. Speak to me of oil. Uh down the bottom, tank cars. Which do you like? These ones? Those ones. These ones? Or those ones? Or these ones? These are double that weight yeah, of those that carry 75% of the quantity. So we'll go with these. All right. It's dropped to good. Yeah, well, I need more than that. Wait until it drops to mediocre. Now, what are we talking mediocre-wise? 47. And that's got a 72 capacity. Yeah. It's going to be running full all the time. That's not a bad thing. If I did one more, what does that give me? Uh, 44. Done. All right. You're on the pick oily oily line. Oily pick line pick oil. Pick rail oil supply. Go. All right. And then one more. And we'll use the, uh, we'll use the same chap from Andalusia. Uh, this one. The 213, you sure? Yep. Looks like the one. Okay. Uh, what are you doing with this? Nothing. Well, get rid of it then. All right. Add one of these. Yeah. Now, cargo. This is going to be steel. Nafis. Okay. I don't have a solution that allows me to take freight type 1 on the way out and freight type 2 on the way back. It doesn't... I, I'm not about to run a loss maker at this current stage. All right. Okay. I would like nicer looking wagons than Nafis. Nafis is all about practicality above everything else. Uh, 64. That's probably going to be more than enough. Yeah. Do it. Right. You're on the steel route. Yeah. But I think where we can run dedicated wagons, we will be doing just that. Right. Rail, steel, production. Yep. Okay. Right. Uh, how about some signaling coming out of the depot? Oh, we could do Ube's little ground level signals. That'd be quite nice. Uh, these uh, these tiddly dwarf chaps. Yeah, make them two way. Okay, and then where are we sticking them? Wherever you like, man. Just plumb them on in there. Well, that's a very dangerous thing to say. How about we do it just before all of these, and we just do a bit of uh, trackside dwarf signal like that. That works. Well, we hope it works. I mean, it, it, there's a high chance it doesn't work. They're not in a straight line. Yeah, I know. No one's going to mind. They are. They're going to call you out on them not being in a straight line. All right. Okay. I'll put I'll put them in a straighter line. There we go. There you see, look. Are you happy with that now? I would be if it placed. Uh, yeah. Interesting. There. Doesn't wanna. There we go. Let's see, it's 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 in there. Right, and that one, that last one's in line, which means you've just got one that's not in the right place. But that dude was waiting there. It's probably vitally important that he continues to wait there until he's got a clean signal. Nah, he'll be fine. There's so much track ahead of him, it's going to take ages before he gets to where he's going anyway. It's broken. It's not broken. You. Get plumbed in. All right, let's, uh, let's try this a different way. You, plumb, go. There you are, see? I know a thing or two. Uh, there we go. Nice. Little mysterious eyes staring at your gravestones, trackside. It's great. Uh, good. Right, okay. Then I think we are about there for this time. You're going, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You've got loads more to do. I go, yeah, I have got loads more to do. Um, but I'm not going to do it all now. We've got more time to do yet. Next episode, what I shall do while you're away is because it's not riveting to watch the same thing every time. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to blat in all of the uh, the west side freight runs. Okay, I'll get all of those uh, all of those stuck in, and then uh, we will worry about passengers next time around. So we've got Picks Creek that will be connecting to Gallifrey down here, and it does so 
via this loop here. All right, it swings all the way around there, which is great. Uh, so we've got to we've got to get that stuck in. But a point single point to point service, no good that is. So we're going to need the uh, the passenger service to go onwards to Silent Hill, maybe further, but also a passenger service that hits Atlantis for the first time, maybe even straying as far as Peninsula. Although part of me says stop at Atlantis and build a little passenger port to run the passengers out to Peninsula. Maybe Peninsula doesn't have a rail passenger service. I've been Colonel Failure. These questions and others won't be answered in future episodes. They'll either be answered in the next episode or not at all. Look forward to it. I demand that you do so. I was rather hoping there would be a train coming in. <sighs> Given how many trains this place is going to be uh, servicing over time, it was almost certain that we should have a train coming in. But we haven't got a train coming in. All right. I'm just going to sit here for a minute until we get a train coming because I'm going to need it for the thumbnail. Yeah. I'll talk to you next time, shall I? Yeah. I won't keep you waiting very long for the next one either. He says now. That might not prove to be true. Cheerio. Hello there. This is an outro. I've not done one of these in about a month. Uh, I took a bit of time off from doing outros, but this is an outro. Anyway, it's a sponsored outro. Uh, perhaps unsurprisingly, and it comes from Hannes, uh, who, uh, who says, Hey, Cook. I have no idea how I ended up watching my very first video on your channel. And to be honest, in the beginning, I was not sure whether I love or hate your style. How did you end up making videos on YouTube and how did you end up making it in the fashion we all love? All right, I've told this story a few times. So this is the, the condensed version. Uh, I've worked in the games industry since 2000. Um, and, uh, and throughout that time, though the prior to getting in, I made fan sites for a game called Ultima Online. Uh, lots of them. And, uh, and this was as well as being a, a webmaster as my day job. And, uh, EA were looking for someone to become a uh, uh, the, the webmaster for Ultima Online in Europe because I was prolific in, in the number of sites that I'd made and, and because I was already doing it as my day job, they hired me. Over the course of time, I worked with a lot of fan sites and a lot of kind of clans and, and guilds and that kind of behavior. And because I'd come from that background before joining the industry, I knew what they wanted, and that allowed me to, to be more useful to them uh, as, as time went on. Now, fast forward 10, 12 years or so, and, uh, you know, I'm increasingly working with video people. And, uh, and I'm going, I kind of get what they're doing, but it, but it would be really useful to understand actually ex exactly what they've been through. Well, two years later, 2014, uh, I found myself on the receiving end of a studio reshuffle. Uh, where uh, I, I've got no, I've got no problem with it. Studios reshuffle all the time, and I, I was left uh, holding, holding a brown bag full of "thank you for very much for your service" money, um, and uh, and I went, well, okay, what am I going to do with myself now? I've got tons of experience, and and frankly, senior level jobs for for my stuff don't come around very often. I'll do a bit of consulting, and at the same time. I'll start a YouTube channel to figure out exactly what's going on and, and exactly what YouTubers have to go through in order to uh, in order to get anywhere. Now, this was the for YouTubists. This was the very end of the golden age for for YouTube in terms of it being simple to uh, to to get uh, to get any level of growth. And it, it's like had I gone two years earlier, I'd have been three, four, five times the size by this point because. I started at the point at which it really started to become saturated. But no, that's okay. You know, there's there's no sour grapes in there. That's that's just the the, the nature of the beast. Anyway, I got the bug for doing it. Uh, I really started. I, I really started enjoying uh, making my own rubbish and and sticking it out on there on the internet. How did the stuff that I make now come about? Tricky. I think the most. Uh, I think uh, one of the. Idiosyncrasies of the of the videos that I make most often is the conversations I have with with myself, uh, whereby I will say, right, I'm going to do this. Is that a good idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a totally good idea. That last idea you had wasn't that good, though, was it? Yes, but this one is, and that uh, internal conversation. It's just. 
it's stuff that every everyone has but usually it's all in your head now i learned quite early on that in order to keep your narrative flowing you've just got to knock down all the gateways of stuff that's going on in your head and just let it go now i've still got filters um i'm quite a sweary individual in the real world but on video it's very rare i will swear without doing so intentionally uh, and the only reason I'll do so intentionally is in order to then bleep it out. And even then, when I bleep it out, it's trade secrets. Even then, when I bleep it out, I usually haven't said something that is particularly offensive. It will be a flaming that I will make to sound so like something else after using a, a strategic beep. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. It's, it, that's, that's, the, that's about as far as my fakery extends. I never fake getting stuff wrong. I just fake you know uh some of the dressing ups from time to time uh getting stuff wrong uh, interesting i think it's because i've always played games that way i've always played games in the way that i thought they should be played and uh and the the combinational factor of you're trying to say something interesting uh i that there's you you develop like an internal timer of time since you last said something that could be conceived as witty interesting fun or other than just calling the play-by-play -play, right and uh, the, the, this is most obvious in the first couple of seasons i did of baseball um now it might, might not be to your taste but many have said that some really rather splendid commentary comes out when i'm doing baseball stuff i've got better at it now not the game necessarily i'm still a bit here and a bit there as far as the game is concerned but in terms of the commentary i've got a much greater sense of awareness of don't just say what's happening early on i learned quickly when i was covering you know factorio and train fever and uh, and city skylines were kind of my my three games um uh yeah i was i would say what i was thinking of doing and kind of illustrate what I was thinking of doing, then go about doing it. And then if I was changing my mind as I went, which I frequently do, I would explain why I was changing. I'd hold on, that's not gonna work. Ooh, I could do that kind of stuff, right? Um, that works really, really well. And the way that I've always seen it, and some of the, the early comments that I had from people who are probably still watching, um, some of them anyway, uh, was it's nice to be kind of led by the hand as it were through the thought process of what you're making the stuff i make is it's mediocre for some parts occasionally i make something quite nice um but in in the most part it's just you know it's neither here nor there uh so that's kind of the routine let's play stuff that i do and i'm i'm going to try and move a little away from routine let's play stuff because it is now so massively saturated that let's play as a format is very very difficult to to attract a routine a regular a regular viewer um and so i'm going to try and do stuff that is a little bit more curated now i've done these kinds of videos in the past uh it, if you look at the playlist that's on the front of my channel called colonel lifestyle where i'm doing you know stupid work simulators basically those are the ones that are slightly better curated now many of them it will be a one-shot recording where i'm just having fun uh and that's the that's the secret to it others i will have had a uh, a broader concept of here's i'll get a i'll get a picture or a sound or a or a line of dialogue in my head and go oh i could make that work really really well uh occasionally i will have just a hot streak uh in one recording where my commentary is just fabulous and it's usually because it's unexpected um descenders still uh, i think this is 2018 that i recorded that is still the best hot streak of commentary i've ever had uh and it was my first play uh, no, no, no i think i put in 10 minutes just to get a feel for the controls and then it's a mountain biking game just going downhill and it's edited i have cut small segments out but i think i recorded maybe 40 minutes in total and 20 minutes of that is is at the end and some of the commentary and there's really good uh just because everything's taking me by surprise at that point and i'm letting my imagination just 
So where I, where I want to get to, uh, which I know wasn't your question, uh, but it is always in the back of my mind because I, this is not the first time I've mentioned this. Where I want to get to is uh, is the, those kind of one-off videos, but serialized one-off videos. I tried it properly for the first time with, with Genesis Alpha 1 and a lot of the production quality that I wanted uh, was exactly right. Just exactly the, the, the level of production that I put into it, I was, I was very, very pleased with. What occurred to me later on was that what I hadn't done was try to maintain a proper narrative where each individual episode, like an episode of Star Trek, has a beginning, a middle, and an end, right? And a, and a, you know, a challenge in the middle and a resolution ready for next week's adventure. And certainly sometimes you could do a two-parter where, you know, you're on the edge of your seat at the end of it, and that would be great. It's what I didn't do first time around. I'd just done, right, I'll record an hour and then crop it down to 20-odd minutes of stuff, put in a few running jokes here and there, and the rest of it is is fairly natural. Um, uh, callback gags. I, I, I've studied comedy uh, from from time to time. You know, I, I analyse comedic stuff. Friends, right? It's dated horribly, horribly dated. Um, you, there, there's some stuff in there that you, that you kind of go like, I hadn't realised that we'd moved on so far as a species in such a short amount of time. But hey, it's still there. That said like from the third fourth fifth season the writing in friends is exceptionally good it's very well done now i mean it's pap right it's not this is not highbrow stuff but they really understand comic writing they really really get it uh it's a little bit formulaic but it still delivers um and think of it on a scene to scene basis uh you watch a scene where they're they're going into the main apartment uh, any more or less any scene you like that isn't one that is trying to be drama uh, and they will set up a joke at the start of the scene that is funny in its own right but they will then call back to it later on in the scene to deliver that punchline there'll be other random stuff that goes on in between and they'll call back to jokes that they've made earlier on in the episode and stuff like that it's it's very very well crafted and, uh, you know, obviously the cast performances help to carry that. And whether you like them or not is irrelevant. They do a good enough job. Um, but it, it's stuff like that. And understanding the the flow in which, uh, in which comedy works is very helpful. Because it allows you to try and train yourself into doing things better. Now, here's one more thing, right? You're a regular viewer, right? If you're watching a Transport Fever, it's unlikely you're going to be a new viewer to the show. So uh, so this will come as no surprise. Although, if you're not aware of it, it is rather going to blow the illusion and then you will become aware of it. How can you not be aware of it? No, no, no. Once you've heard it, you can't not hear it. Tricky. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'm going to water it down a little bit. I, I'm an R quite a lot right and uh there's one uh and i use that as a pause in thinking time it's incredibly lazy and if i think about it as i am doing at the moment i can avoid doing it but my commentary ends up sounding quite stilted by comparison now if i've got a pretty strong thought coming then I can usually hold it together and avoid the umming and the erring. And here's a tip for anybody who suffers from a similarly lazy vocal tick, right? Let's call it that. Similarly lazy. I'm struggling. Uh, dang. Nuts. Oh, I almost had it. Okay, okay. That's right. If you've got a similarly lazy kind of vocal tick going on, you have to train yourself out of it. In the same way as you train yourself to allow you to uh, wiggle around while you're working for the right word. Those, I'd still allow. I'd allow those. Because then it's, it's very clear. It communicates that I'm thinking about what's coming next. But if you want to start sounding more coherent, you've got to practice getting it out of your head. and uh, uh, Letting it out of your mouth. And instead, leave it in your head. And there's nothing wrong with pausing. There's nothing wrong with quiet. I, when, when I pause, when I say nothing at all, 
it's purely for comic effect. Never for any other reason. If you ever hear me stop dead in the middle of, you know, while gameplay is continuing, it's because at that point I've kind of twigged you as a viewer can imagine what I'm doing and that imagination that is fueling you may well be fantastic right it might it might be better than anything i could say do or otherwise at that point it's like you know i've crashed my train and i'll go oh you're on the edge of your seat because you don't know what i'm going to say next and that's the kind of stuff that i want to get into more is thinking more about what i'm saying and the problem with uh, stream of conscious let's play where you turn the camera on you start jabbering jobs are good they are so easy to do uh, if i put out a 25 minute episode it takes me 25 and a half minutes to record and that's fine for someone who is time poor in the way that i, I frequently am superb but i want to get to record three hours of stuff put out a 20 minute episode of good stuff where half of that three hours isn't recording or you know an hour out of that recording isn't actually recording stuff it's trying it out testing it getting a thorough idea of what it is that i want to achieve during that time because i think it will be of higher quality and that's where i want to get to great question thanks for asking it hannah's you're a star i've been colonel failure i'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.